it is good practice to save your text and your formatting as paragraph styles as you begin to create your design. You want to link all of your text to these settings so that if you have to edit them in the future, it's easy to edit all of the text in a design at once and not individually. So for this example, I have two different styles saved. I have a headline style and I have body copy. But imagine if this was a 24 page booklet and there are 37 articles and every article uses the same headline formatting and every article uses the same body copy. If you wanna change, let's say the color of the headline. We don't like red anymore, it's too aggressive. So we want blue because it's calming. Uh, you can edit the style and then when you edit the style, all of the instances or where the style has been applied will automatically change. The steps to do this are make sure nothing is selected. So deselect by clicking anywhere in the pasteboard. Then double click your style that you wish to edit. So let's change the red text to be blue. Double click red headline uh, on your paragraph styles panel. This will launch the paragraph style options dialog. I know that I'm going to change this text to be blue, so I'm going to go ahead and change the name of the style to be the blue headline. And then all of the settings that you would want to be able to modify your text are all present inside this dialog. It might take you a minute to find what you're looking for, but if you click through, we can change the typeface, we can change the size, you can change the letting, the tracking, the kerning, you can adjust the skew, the baseline shift, the horizontal scale, things that we would normally adjust on the options bar across the top of the screen. There is an option for indents and spacing. Let's find the one that has character color. It's towards the bottom. And now if we want to change this headline to be blue, we can find the saved swatch on our swatches panel that's blue. I have preview selected in the bottom left hand corner so I can see what that looks like. If I'm happy with that, select OK and then that and all instances of that style will now be blue instead of red. Let's do it again for the body copy. Maybe I want to change the typeface and other settings about the text. Make sure nothing is selected, so deselect everything, click your pasteboard, and then double click your body copy paragraph style to edit it. It will launch the paragraph style options dialog. We're not going to change the name because body copy is still applicable but if we click through the settings we might want to change it to a different typeface right now it's minion pro so you could try different typefaces until you find the one that you like it's not I would say it's probably not ideal to change the typeface this way because you can't see what it looks like beforehand but let's say that you definitely knew which one you wanted and you definitely knew which typeface you wanted to change it to you could change it here you could also adjust the letting so you could space out the distance between lines of type or you could decrease the letting. Remember letting's default setting is 120% of the typeface height so the default for 12 point is 14.4 points. Indents and spacing are one of my favorite things to adjust using the paragraph style options dialog. There is spacing between the paragraphs in my design. If I want to adjust that, I can come here and I can reduce the space after paragraph to bring the paragraphs closer together. Or if I decide that I don't want that indent, I can remove the indent on all the paragraphs at once. And then by doing that, I probably need to add some space after paragraph so that it's clear where my paragraphs start and stop. You can click through all of the different settings to see what's available, but you'll find that almost every single thing that you would want to edit outside of the box from a text perspective is available inside the paragraph style options. For example, I hate hyphenation, so I can turn hyphenation off in every paragraph that uses this style so that quickly all the hyphenation in my article has been removed.